with this log we have several daily entries and I want to be able to keep track of how many users has read each one of my entries. So I want a column with a counter that just shows the number of times the user has gone into the show action of this blog entry. To do this, we could create a new attribute for a counter on the blog model. However, this may not be the best route sometimes if you have many different models and you want to keep this kind of uh, tracking for each page. So what we can do is we can use the Impressionist Gem. The Impressionist Gem is a lightweight plugin that logs impressions per action or manually per model. So we can track when a user comes to our page and then display the counter here. So let's get started with this. The first thing that we need to do is to add the Impressionist Gem into our Gem file. And then we need to uh, run Bundle to install it. Once we install the Gem, we need to run a migrations and this will create the database entries so rails g impressionist and it creates our database entries from here we can migrate our database and we can then start up our rails application so you'll see that it creates uh, one table with several different columns in there using a lot of different polymorphic associations so let's start up our application and let's get started adding it into our program. So we'll go into our controller and then let's go into our blogs controller and within our blogs controller we want to um, add in the impressionist for the actions show. So let's clean this up a bit and this is taken directly from their documentation so this would only do it for the show action. While this works great, we do run into an issue where the Impressionist gem will not work properly if you're using Friendly ID. So instead of using it up here before we get into our actions, you would actually need to go down into your show action and then set the Impressionist here. We're going to call this on our blog. And you can put a uh, special message here if you want to, but it's a optional entry. So this will create a impression on that uh, blog entry whenever you come into the show action. And the blog is being set from the before action here, the set blog, it just finds the blog. So we're not using friendly ID in this case. However, if we were, then we would definitely want to uh, make sure we're setting it like that. The second step that we have to do is go into our blog model and then we need to add in is impressionable. By adding the impressionable here it creates the necessary associations to the table that we created. So now we're all done with the back-end setup. Let's go into our front-end setup to make it where we can do a count of our page views. So let's just create a new header called views and then down here we're going to just call uh, impressionist count and by doing that we will then get a accurate count of our um, page views. So coming back here let's refresh our page. So we have zero views. If we go into show this would have hit the database, created a new record, Let's go back to our home and now we have the one view. If we go in again, go back, we have two views. Again, we have three views. So I really recommend checking out the documentation and uh, there are several ways that you can filter it to only get maybe the last several days uh, that you want to show the views for or maybe you want to create a filter or a search where you can see uh, on specific days or grouping it by certain days. Uh, you can filter by IP address so you're not getting uh, multiple page views from the same user but rather it's going to just display the unique addresses. Um, you can also do it by a session hash. 
So you may not want to, um, if you have one single person who is just going all through your application on a certain session, then you want to make sure that you're only counting it one time for each one of your blog entries. However, uh, once they log out, log back in, it will create another page view. So check out the documentation. It all has, also has some information about adding it as a counter cache to your model, which could be uh, very helpful for performance if you have a much larger database. Uh, I read through the documentation is fair, fairly self-explanatory. Uh, it's just adding another record to your, uh, in our case, the blog model, and then setting up some uh, counter caches, specifying the column that I want to assign it to. So that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.